My name's Amari, and this is our summary and review of Badlands, which is currently available on Netflix. To summarize, it has been about three years since Neri has come back from Tokyo, coming back to Osaka, and because of her former life, specifically her ex named Goya, she has lost hearing in one of her ears, and she was so desperate for any type of protection that she reconciled with her infamous father known as Takagi. Now, despite their past, and even her individual past, she created a fairly stable present in her life, and things were going okay for a while. She even warmed up to Takagi, and he warmed up to her, to the point of it seeming that he was going to groom her to take over for whenever he retires or potentially dies. However, then Neri's pseudo-brother named Yashiro shows up, and everything changes for he unfortunately is like a bull in a china shop and with that neri is forced to think fast and draw from the community she has made including a man named mandala who's a little bit off his kilter if she wants to basically survive either look at this as a high level on the fence or a low level highlight but i will say <laughs> The beginning of this film is dry and kind of dull, but once Yashiro comes about, it starts to pick up. Now, to note, this movie is 2 hours and 23 minutes, so it's a long movie, and with the beginning of it having where you see a breakdown of Takagi and Neri, how they do business conning people, especially the elderly, that part is not that interesting. And to add on, the cops who are involved in trying to shut down the operation also are not that interesting. But when Yashiro comes in, it becomes less about what crimes are being committed and more about the family and relationship dynamics amongst Takagi, Takagi's organization, never mind his relationship with Neri, and that's when things get interesting. And being that Yashiro and Neri share a father figure that's not Takagi. And then of course there's the issues of what Takagi did to Neri's mother and so much more in terms of like family drama. That's what draws you in. Maybe to a certain point learn about what happened with Neri's ex, but yeah. But again, Yeshiro, when he shows up, that's when things get interesting. That's when you start to see more than just the foundation of how everything works, but start to really get into the pillars that hold up this empire that Takagi built and as you watch it seemingly come trump, uh, crumble down that's what makes I guess maybe the two hours or one hour and a half that you really start to get into this movie that's what makes everything that came before it worth it and I would even add in even though they don't play a big role in this movie there's a character whose name I believe is pronounced Yashida Hashida something like that and she seems to be part of the, I want to say Yakuza, who's part of this movie. And what makes her interesting is that for most women in this movie, whether you're talking about Neri or the others who don't necessarily do or say much to have a name, she's probably the only one who doesn't have any type of background which has some type of violence in it like she wasn't assaulted it doesn't seem like she dealt with any type of sexism so being that she's this kind of outlier in this film it makes you really drawn into what does she do how does she get to the point of being in this position where it seems she's cleaning money but also handling the gambling den and the men generally seem to respect her how did that happen what did she do say or what does she know even <laughs> that allows her this position and again she's not a big character whatsoever but from the look the attitude the way she handles both Neri and Yashiro you're definitely drawn into the point of ask, wanted to ask questions and maybe a little bit frustrated that you don't see or get to know her more and in terms of a sequel likely she wouldn't be in it but overall, when it comes to Badlands, yes, the beginning can definitely make you question, do you want to commit to this? But I feel like once the drama starts rolling in, especially when it comes to Yashiro, Neri, and Takagi's relationship, and then learning how 
much drama and issues there is in that relationship, it'll make you want to commit to the full time length. And granted, when, when it comes to some of the characters, some are definitely more interesting than others, as shown by the cops being basically useless and don't really add much. But then you have small characters like Hashida who intrigue you to the point of wanting to ask questions when we get to know more. So overall, it's very balanced. The drama keeps you interested. And yes, it's a long movie, but speaking of somebody who thinks any movie that's past 90 minutes is just a showing of bad editing, I was very much entertained.